Welcome back to Polish Professionals, the blog and brand to help you conquer the workaday world with style and poise. I'm Mel, the founder of Polish Professionals, and we're so glad you're joining us today. If you're new to our channel, we hope you hit the subscribe button below and the bell so you never miss an episode. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. We're so glad you're here. Today we are talking about four ways that you can be a better leader right now. Everybody wants to be a better leader. It is always one of the hardest things. You can often gain the skill set that you need for your job, but the intangibles like being a good leader, communicating well with others, those are some of the really hard tasks that we come across in the workplace every day. And everybody also always wants to move up, but if you really wanna move up and be successful in moving up, you will have to become a better leader. And we hope these top four tips are helpful to you. Tip number one is take a training course. This may seem pretty self-evident, but we took tons and tons of classes to know how to do whatever job it is we're doing, but often we don't take classes on anything like leadership or other soft skills that are so important in the workplace. We'll consider that you need that same kind of education, just like you needed to do the skills in your job, you need that for leadership in your job. Don't just think you can learn it on your own, on the fly. It really does help to think strategically about how to become a better leader. So watching this video is a great first step, but you can also consider courses like Six Sigma, that's a famous, famous leadership program that of course big, big, huge companies like GE uses and others. Um, if you go through those kind of courses, it really tells you how to think about leadership, how to become more authoritative in your leadership, not authoritarian, but more authoritative. So understanding those kind of differences, but really think about and develop yourself as a leader. You want to make sure you're taking the right classes that will fit your style of leadership and really enhance the skill set that you already have, which is maybe how to do your job, but this will tell you how to do it better, how to communicate more clearly as a leader and effectively assemble the right teams and all the things that are the soft skills that of course they're not taught in schools. So it is no, no telling that so many people are really bad at being a leader because there isn't really these kind of classes that we get from the time we start you know, in school to the time we go to graduate school or beyond. So don't take it for granted that you have all the skills to be a leader. Find the great training courses that you need in order to enhance those skills and help yourself and your business. Tip number two to becoming a more effective leader is of course developing your emotional intelligence or your EQ. That is something, again, that is not taught in schools, but it is something that you can really work on every day in order to become a more effective leader. So what are our tips to enhancing your EQ? Well, it's about being intentional and it's about, first of all, being kind all the time. There is no reason not to be kind to people. I have to confess, I was short with a um, coworker the other day and I really had to apologize for that because that kind of shortness with somebody will not help me to be somebody that they listen to. It won't help me to be somebody that they respect um, when I'm short with somebody. So if you ever are that way with somebody or have something where there's any bad blood with you and another person, clear the air and move on. Ask for forgiveness and move on. But also being human with them, I think that really does help uh, create a rapport with somebody. When I said you wanna be intentional, wanna be intentional about getting to know the people on your team, finding out about what's going on in their lives. It helps you react without the kind of shortness that I might have reacted to just recently and ask for forgiveness for um, if I know what's going on in their life. If they're, for example, have a sick family member at home, so maybe they can't spend the time, extra time at the office um, that week, you know, that you really wanna give them the grace to be able to do that. Um, if they may be going through a divorce, they may be going through other things, but if you're spending the time to understand and the needs of that person, then in the tough times and when it, when it really gets going, they will be there for you because you have been a good leader to them, you've respected them, you've gotten to know them, and that kind of time will always come back tenfold to you. Another easy way to think about enhancing your emotional intelligence is really taking people to lunch and getting them outside of the office. This little bit of time can really give you an opportunity to get to know a lot more about that person and what makes them tick. And inevitably, you'll talk about the things at work, so it'll be important meeting anyway. You'll get some really valuable information about it, but you'll also be developing a relationship with this person, and that, at the end of the day, is one of the best keys in order to become a more effective leader. Tip number three for being a more effective leader is do better at your meetings. Set better meetings. 
If any of us are really being honest right now, we waste a ton of time in meetings and that means we're wasting other people's time. Have you ever seen the meme that is just like, I was just at a two hour meeting and it could have been handled in one email? Well, that is more true than we know and that kind of wasting of resources does not get you any respect as a leader in your business. And so we really wanna think about how we can make our meetings much more efficient. Um, one of the things that I've started doing for my meetings, and I will tell you, it does take work on the front end. The work itself is happening on the front end and back end of the meetings. It is not happening necessarily in the meeting itself. And I think, I used to think that meetings were a place to get things done. And over time, I've come to understand that's not really what meetings are for. They're more for communication tools about them. And so I like to prepare a summary before a meeting and try to keep my mini meetings to 30 minutes or less. So doing a summary beforehand and setting an agenda really will help keep your team on task. That will allow them to prepare for the meeting before they get there so that people walk into a meeting with real information, answers to questions that you may have, and doesn't waste their time. They, they really can go do the research first, come in, keep the meeting short and brief, stick to that agenda. If you have topics that are going off an agenda, really try to streamline back to the line of the outline that you've outlined for that meeting and stay on that task for that day. If there needs to be other meetings set, of course do that. But for every meeting, we think keep it to under 30 minutes, set an agenda and questions beforehand so that everybody can be prepared. And then really do not waste people's times. And that is what the real problem is with most meetings. So in order to get to be a more effective leader, we hope that these tips help you think about how you schedule and plan and outline for your next meeting. Tip number four to being a more effective leader is to lead by example. And of course, this is one of the hardest things to do, but it is, I think, the most important. A great leader is respected and a respected person is consistent in all that they do. And they really can be somebody that, that the other people will trust. So leading by example is how you get to be a better leader. And what do I mean by leading by example? Well, the people you work with are not your children. It will not work to say, do as I say, not as I do. You will never be respected. And as Machiavelli said, he wanted to be more feared than respected. I think the, in the long run, a more effective leader is one that is respected. And so just having the fear of people in them to just do what you say will not gain any kind of loyalty. It won't really help when the going gets tough. They will not be happy about working with you. So being respected as somebody who leads by example and not just by their authoritarian nature will really help you become a more effective leader in your organization. So what does that mean? Practically speaking, you need to spend the time being in the office, working on the hard projects, getting your hands dirty when you need to get your hands dirty, um, doing the mundane tasks that nobody wants to do. Those kind of things really have an impact. I will tell you a quick story about somebody who became the president of the university I attended. And shortly after he became the president of the university, I saw him walking around campus one day and he didn't know I saw him. But I saw him picking up trash everywhere he walked. This man um, has several doctorate degrees. He has a huge staff. He certainly has a janitorial staff, but he took the time and showed that he cared enough to stop his day to make sure that the university looked good. And I thought that is the kind of leader that I want to be, is somebody who will stop and pick up the trash if that's what needs to be done that day. Um, because that, at the end of the day, shows you care. You care about the business and that you care about the people that work there, that they have a clean environment. So much more than just getting the job done, going above and beyond, even doing the things that seem like they're mundane things. That is the kind of leadership by example that will really get you respected and help vault you to the top of your organization. We hope you liked our top four tips to becoming a better leader. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below and the bell so you never miss an episode. And importantly, please tell us your top tips for becoming a more effective leader down in the comments below. What did we miss? I'm sure there's plenty of them. Let us also know about some of the great leaders that you've seen and maybe what they've done. Just by example, that's one way we can all learn from each other. Thanks so much for watching.